Kobe Bryant's final visit to Boston, the San Antonio Spurs franchise record home winning streak, and the Warriors without Steph Curry are all covered in Wednesdays for three. Kobe Bryant's final memory at TD Garden as a player will be victory as the Lakers took down the Celtics 112-104. Before the game, Celtics brass presented Kobe with a piece of the parquet floor. But once the game started, Kobe struggled from the field, shooting 5 of 18. But he did register his first double-double of the season, finishing with 15 points and 11 rebounds. Bryant also buried a game-clinching three in the final two minutes as the Lakers picked up their sixth win against 27 losses. So if you reverse the Lakers record, you wind up with the San Antonio Spurs. They brought a 27-6 mark into Wednesday's home tilt with the Suns. San Antonio jumped all over Phoenix from the opening tip, leading by 20 after one and 29 at the half of their franchise record 28th straight home win dating back to last season. LaMarcus Aldridge went for game highs of 21 points and 12 rebounds. The Spurs improved to 19-0 at home this year, 112-79 the final. The Warriors are also undefeated at home, but they were on the road in Dallas and without reigning MVP Steph Curry, who was sidelined with a calf bruise. And boy, did the Mavs take advantage, shooting 51% from the field and 52% from three. Led by J.J. Barea's 23 points, they routed the Warriors 114-91. It was the first game Curry missed this year and further illustrates his importance to a team that posted the best 31-game start in NBA history despite the loss. They're now 29-2. And we'll close out for three with what seems to be a positive resolution to what was a very scary story that emerged earlier in the day. Knicks forward Clee Anthony Early is expected to make a full recovery after he was robbed and shot in the knee in an incident in New York City early Wednesday morning.